if you think about every reason why you should or, or you should not do something, mm. you may not actually act. So I am thrilled today to be with Eloise and Isabel from this wonderful new social venture called Taboo. Yeah. So Eloise, tell us, tell us about you, tell us about Taboo, because it's really exciting. Yeah, sure thing. So um, I'm one of the co-founders of Izzy, obviously, and directors of Taboo. Um, a student at Flinders University doing business and international relations. Um, and Taboo is a social enterprise that we created a couple of years ago. We're selling our own brand of organic cotton pads and tampons to the Australian market. And we give 100% of our net profit to projects that empower women and girls in Sierra Leone and Uganda with access to education and menstrual health products. Well, it certainly picked up so much attention locally, nationally, and I'm sure many parts around the world. Isabel, why did you do it? What motivated you guys to make this happen? Yeah, so about two and a half years ago, as Eloise was saying, um, we discovered this social enterprise model, which is an incredible new way of doing business, I guess, which is just having a business, selling a product or a service, but then all your profits or all, all your services or your product are going to um, a cause that's related to your business activity. So for us, that's the selling pads and tampons and then um, sending our profits to mental health care projects and, and projects that empower women. Um, so we, we discovered that model and we also um, discovered the need overseas for menstrual health care and also um, general um, projects that empower women through education, through microfinance. And we just discovered the need there and we had this solution and so we thought we'd give it a whirl. <laughs> it's brilliant. Do you consider yourselves to be social entrepreneurs? Yeah, and I think we kind of fell into it by accident almost. We had this idea, we had this business idea, and we had this mission for our, our profit. And then um, I, I guess along the journey we discovered, oh, I guess we're entrepreneurs, we're starting a business. And, and then we thought, oh, I guess we're social entrepreneurs because it is a social cause for our, our business. So yeah, it, it wasn't intentional, but we're definitely social entrepreneurs. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. We actually spent a year or so considering whether we should be a charity or a registered business to best fulfill our mission. And we decided that running as a business was the best way. We'd make them more money and therefore have the most impact in our social mission. So it is very similar that we do need to consider all normal business costs um, as a priority to make the business sustainable and, and profitable. And the better we do that, the more profit we'll actually have for our mission. So it's definitely commerce heavy in at the moment. People challenge you on this sometimes to about that kind of relationship between a commercial venture versus a social venture or something which is kind of giving back to the community financially? Yeah, um, people definitely question things and I think that's actually quite healthy because it's important um, for people to question where their money is going. Um, but definitely in our community there is a concept of a charity and people have a cookie cutter approach to it and if something seems like it's not fulfilling that what their idea of a charity is they really are quite skeptical of it so i think what we've um we've learned to do is describe our model our business model and some people call it profit for purpose yeah. which is pretty much a good summary of what what we are doing business for our personal values were definitely something that drove us to start to do and, and kind of sustained us through that startup phase because it was quite challenging um, I think a lot of it just came down to the point where we had this idea, we knew that we were really passionate and um, heartbroken about our cause, and we just kind of thought we don't have a choice, like we have to do it. Now we've got this, we've got this solution to a problem, and it was definitely a drive from the heart that got us committed to it. And I think what most importantly, what you're doing for the community all over the world is priceless. So congratulations, we wish you every success on your journey as Taboo grows into this wonderful global enterprise, which I have no doubt that it will. And I'm sure that many people along the way will just step up and help you make all this happen because you're doing it for the right reason. So, well done. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us. Yeah, we're learning. We are learning. Mm. And I think we, we came in to Taboo thinking, oh, this is the perfect situation. We're best friends. I'm never ever going to have a fight. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> but we have had fights, yeah. definitely. We've been so mad at each other at points. Yeah. And frustrated, but we've worked through it. Yes. Yeah.